We're going to go to Twitter now and take some questions. So if you have a question for us that you would like us to answer on the show, you can send it using the hashtag AskROF. You can tag at Ring of Fire Radio, or you can tag me personally at Farron Balanced. Our first question tonight comes from Maggie Toll, who asks, do you think Trump is going to get away with all the crimes he committed just because he became president before he got caught? I don't, you know, there, there's a lot of, a lot of debate on this issue among the left. I don't care about the debate on the right. They can say, do whatever they don't matter in this particular instance. But even on the left, there seems to be a lot of people who think, no, Trump either didn't do anything wrong or yeah, he did, but he's not going to go down for it. So focus on other things. And then you have the people who want to talk 100% about all the horrible things Trump has done and he needs to go in jail and he's going to be impeached tomorrow. And if it's not tomorrow, it's going to be the next day or the next day or the next day. We got to find a fine line here because yes, it's fairly obvious that Trump has probably done some illegal things throughout his life. Is he going to get away with these things though? I mean, I guess that's the heart of your question here. Personally, I don't think so. I would like to think that this investigation, that the other investigations going on into him and his family, somebody's going to come up with something. Now they may not be held all the way accountable for it, but Donald Trump's real weakness is not in the court of law. It's in the court of public opinion. That's what matters to him more than anything else, other than obviously his bank account. He has this obsessive and, and clinical, really, need to be loved by everyone or by most. So if we do get information that comes out that shows that Donald Trump committed a crime, whether it's obstruction of justice, whether it's collusion, maybe there's tax fraud, maybe there's money laundering, who knows? I mean, based on all of the areas that Mueller has subpoenaed and gotten documents from, I mean, Deutsche Bank, the IRS, uh, you know, he could be looking at any one of those things at any given time. And I think it's actually some combination of all of them. So yeah, you dig deep enough, you're going to find something in this dude's past. Maybe his immediate past, maybe in the last two years, like the 2016 Trump Tower meeting, who knows? We have to wait for the final report. And at that point, I do think to some extent, Trump will be held accountable. Maybe it'll be impeachment. Maybe it'll be, you know, a slap on the wrist by Congress. If, if Republicans are able to hold on to the House and the Senate, obviously nothing's going to happen there. But if the Democrats win the House and hopefully maybe even the Senate, then yeah, we will definitely see some kind of ramification for Donald Trump. But none of that will matter because the next president to take his place would be a Republican. If he gets impeached, they're going to pardon him. They're going to pardon his family and they're going to bite it in the 2020 election. But Trump's image with the American public will forever be tarnished and that will harm him personally more than any kind of punishment the court system can dole out. And that's what he's so terrified of is not going to jail. It's not even necessarily losing money. He's got more money than he knows what to do with. It's being hated by the public, by everyone, by those people who once loved him. That's what he's afraid of. And yeah, in the end, this is going to hurt his businesses too. If it comes out, he was doing something wrong, laundering money, you know, any kind of financial crimes. If those do uh, get discovered, if they did happen, that will ruin his businesses hundred percent. Those will be gone. All those gaudy buildings all throughout this country with the Trump name on them, they will be gone. Nobody will want to associate with that. Same reason Ivanka's brand recently went under and she was like, all right, I'm done with it because the sales were horrible because everybody in the country finally got to see what a horrible person she was. So it killed the brand. So Trump's brand is likely to take a massive hit if we find any crimes. His uh, uh, popularity is going to plummet among the American public in a way that will never recover. Just like the name Nixon is now synonymous with corruption. So too would the name Trump be. So yeah, to answer your question, I do think Donald Trump is going to eventually be held accountable. Maybe not to the extent that some of us would like to see, but I think it will eventually happen.